Hey, what's going on guys? NT Izuchi here. And if you're an independent business owner or an entrepreneur, like a networking professional or a consultant or a health coach or fitness coach or even a freelancer in a particular field, then stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you four high impact activities to help you build your brand and your business. Alright guys, welcome back. So I get it, you know, as entrepreneurs, we're supposed to, you know, use the resources we have to get faster results and in a much shorter period of time. But let's keep it real, right? In the beginning stages and throughout your journey, it's going to be a hustle, all right? Your daily input will be a huge factor as to the output that you get. But while you're hustling, okay, you have to hustle smart so that everything you do comes full circle and you start getting results quickly and continue to build on the foundation that you set for yourself, right? So what exactly should you be doing every day? Right, right now what we're gonna do is head over to a live on-screen recorded presentation where I'm gonna share with you four high impact activities to help you build your brand and your business on a daily basis. And once we're done with that live on-screen recorded presentation, we're gonna head back here to finish off the video. Sound good? All right, let's head over. All right, so here are four high impact activities to build your business daily. The first is to create content daily. Now, by this, I don't mean you need to share your own content daily, but you should absolutely get in the mode of creating value that serves your marketplace. This could be blogs, videos, podcasts, social media posts, or a live stream presentation. Now, why should you do this? Well, this will allow you to showcase your expertise, especially when no one knows who you are, particularly when you're first getting started out. Okay, understand that you will be paid based on the amount of value that you provide your marketplace. You want to make a million dollars? Well, provide a million dollars worth of value to your market. Now, some of the largest and most successful companies in the world are successful because they provide large amounts of value in their own way. All right, think about the apples of the world or Starbucks or even McDonald's, okay? Although McDonald's certainly doesn't have the highest quality of food, they provide a huge value in a way that the consumer knows exactly what they're going to get and the food doesn't taste different from store to store. Now, in your case, you have to think from the perspective of your potential client if they were to learn that you have some sort of product or service offering. The first thing that they would probably do is look for testimonials from others. And if they can't find any testimonials, they'll probably do some research on you. And if your content is compelling enough and you over deliver on the value you provide in the free content, they almost have no choice but to expect that they'll be blown away when they actually have to pay for something. So think of content as a weapon and not as some meaningless chore. Now the next high impact activity is to add layers to your marketing and the objective here is to attract people who don't know you exist, build familiarity and convert these people into leads and then finally convert them into paying customers. Now I typically like to break these down into three layers. The first layer is passive marketing and these include things like paid advertising or list building where you are promoting free offers that help solve a problem in your market and search engine optimization or SEO for short where you are optimizing your content to be found in the search engines like Google and YouTube. Now the benefit to these are these efforts are working around the clock nonstop 24-7. The next is active marketing, and this is what I like to call the ground game. Okay, these include active prospecting either on social media or local networking where you can actually meet people face to face and build a rapport and a real connection very, very quickly. And the third and last is conversion marketing, where you can essentially create buying environments. All right, these include an email follow-up series where you can present a product or service where it is relevant. Okay, a live or pre-recorded webinar where you are bringing awareness to a problem that is in your market, then providing problem-solving value-based solutions in the form of a product. And another great alternative to webinars is hosting live streamed presentations on social media where you can also interact live with people watching, provide value-based solutions, and then give a call to action to reach out to you to learn how they can work directly with you where there you can close them either on a Skype call or even on the phone call 
Now, as your business grows, you can probably do less active marketing, but in my opinion, passive marketing and the conversion part will always be essential. Now, the next high impact activity is personal development. Okay, you simply can't grow as an entrepreneur and as an intellectual if you keep recycling the same information in your head. Okay, you have to consume new information from others who are making it happen. So, you can read or listen to an audiobook for 30 minutes to an hour per day, or go through some sort of skill set training that will help you do your job better. Now, this training can include marketing, sales, recruiting, presenting, public speaking, or whatever skill set you need to hone and become a master at. Now, the great thing about personal development is you always come across some new information that you didn't know before that will empower you to implement something or approach something differently that could change your life or your business. And the last high impact activity is taking care of your body. Now, this is something that almost never makes the list when it comes to entrepreneurship and growing your business. I mean, how can you function if you aren't taking care of your body? This is why exercise and rest is important. Okay, This is why getting up and moving after sitting at your computer for hours is important and why you should actually consider a standing desk. Okay, This is also why you should stay hydrated and make a concerted effort to eat as healthy as possible. Now, I am by no means a health expert, but I do know how my body feels when I don't exercise or get enough rest, or when I'm immobile or hunched over my computer for hours on end, or when I haven't drank water all day or skipped breakfast. Okay, these things are often the determining factor on whether to work on my business versus taking the day off. So, I hope that you got some value from this presentation. Now, let's head back over to finish off the video. All right, guys, I hope that you got some value from that live on-screen recorded presentation. And as a quick recap as to some of the things that you should be doing on a daily basis is one, creating content daily because it'll help you to position yourself as an expert and as an invaluable resource to your market, all right? Secondly, you should be adding layers to your marketing. And by layers, I mean incorporating both passive and active marketing, and of course, some sort of method to converting your leads into paying customers, right? The third, and a big one at that, is personal development, okay? You can read, listen to audio, or go through some sort of skill set training that will help you become a master at what you do, all right? And finally, and perhaps the most important, is to take care of your body, okay? Make sure you're staying active and allowing your body time to rest. And I know as entrepreneurs, we try and squeeze like 30 hours out of a 24 hour day, but it's just not possible. Okay? And most of the time, you can't do great work on a tired mind. Right? So try as much as you can to move and keep the blood flowing while you're working and make sure to at least stay hydrated and eat as healthy of a diet as you can. All right? So again, I hope that you got some value from this video. And if you did get value from this video, okay, make sure to like this video and subscribe to whichever channel, page, or profile that you may be watching it from, whether that be on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever. All right? Now, if you have your own thoughts or opinions on this particular topic, okay, make sure to take part in the conversation or even get the conversation started in the comment section. All right? And lastly, if you know someone who could benefit from seeing this video, now, I encourage you to share with them or tag them in the comment section so that they see this, all right? But of course, you know, I never like to leave you empty-handed or without the next step or resource to help you elevate your game, right? And if you're an entrepreneur who doesn't have a structured game plan to execute every single day to build your business, then perhaps you may be interested in the four-step daily action plan that I've developed over the years, all right? And if you'd like access to that resource, head over to ntizuchi.com forward slash action plan and what that will do is give you access to a downloadable PDF document with these four steps on it and as a bonus there will also be a video of me walking you and coaching you step by step through these four steps so again if you'd like access to this resource for free head over to ntizuchi.com forward slash action plan and my friend I will see you on the inside of that training ciao for now